All right, welcome back. This is Bill from Aventone Blog TV. Today we're going to be going through and installing CollectD on uh, one of our servers to collect metrics and then send it to Graphite, where we will uh, be able to graph it in Grafana. Uh, so this should be a pretty quick video. Uh, so let's go ahead and the first thing we want to do is uh, in a fully updated version of uh, Ubuntu 18.04, uh, we're going to go ahead and install CollectD. So CollectD is great at collecting performance metrics from your servers and then uh, we'll send those metrics to Graphite, they'll be stored and then we can pull them from Graphite into Grafana and make some pretty nice graphs uh, to see how our system's feeling. In this video I'm installing it on one of my Cassandra servers because uh, I want to notice how, uh, how, my, how my Cassandra servers are doing. Alright, so we got that all installed. Let's go ahead and edit the configuration. Alright, so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff in here that we can configure. Uh, normally, if you don't have DNS set up, you want to uh, change this value um, to change it from localhost to something else. What the actual host name is of your server. Uh, I actually have internal DNS set up, so I'm gonna leave that fqdn lookup equals true there, so it'll just pull the host name from there. Um, so the next thing we want to do is uh, make sure we have the right plugins. Uh, so CollectD comes with a bunch of plugins, as you can see here in the plugin section. Some are already enabled. We don't need all these guys. Uh, like battery, this is a this is a virtual machine, so we can comment that guy out. Um, so some some what we do want is like CPU. We're gonna do DF and disk. Now let's just do DF and let's see entropy. Interface is good. We don't we don't really need IRQs. We do want to see about the load on the system, memory, that's good. Our processes. Our RD tool, yep, that's good. Uh, we don't need swap because swap is disabled on Cassandra. And users, and since we're gonna be sending it to Graphite, we want to enable this plugin, which is uh, right graphite. Now we can go through and configure all of this. Uh, as you can see, after we load these, kind of like Apache does, it has different sections down here where for your different enabled uh, plugins, you can configure which ones do what. So we need to go through and make sure our stuff is correctly configured that we just enabled. So we're gonna go through and find DF that we enabled. There's our DF. All right, and we want it to monitor a specific device, so we're going to change that here. Let me log back in because I'm not sure what the name of the device is. And our device, since it's the root here, is dev sda2. So we'll do some copy pasta magic on that. All right put two there all right so our mount point we're gonna put that uncomment that and since that's our root directory we'll change that to be just backslash there all right so now our we can configure our interface for monitoring So there we go. So we're gonna enable this one. So we need to comment everything. Comment that one, that one, and that one. We need to find out the actual interface name. To do that, we'll go back to my other window and do IPA, and that's ENS160. It'll be different depending on what virtualization you're using, OS, and all that good stuff. So now we'll go to the right graphite plugin. There we go. And 
and we're going to uncomment some lines here. So we're actually going to change this, oh, oops. our host here, I sent everything to metrics.imitone.lab, so I'm just going to put metrics here, uh, so that's what also we're going to put here for the host that we're going to send it to, you're going to of course put in the, the host name uh, for your graphite slash Grafana server. And, and that's what I have here. The default port that Graphite's going to accept stuff on is 2003. And we have all that configured. So we want to set log send errors to true. Our prefix, we want to change that to a dot afterwards because it's going to have our, our post name. Everything in Graphite is separated by dots, all the fields and the lines that the metrics that it sends. Uh, so we want to make sure we put a dot here. Uh, store rates is true. Always append DS is false. Or escape character, of course, is the underscore. Alright, so we'll set that there and we'll do system control start collect D. We will enable it. Alright, uh, so if you haven't configured your graphite server to accept these incoming connections uh, for carbon, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll show how we do that. So the location of this file, the storage scheme is file, may, de may depend on what, how you installed uh, Graphite and Carbon. Uh, for this installation on my environment, I installed it using the virtual EMV option, uh, which is also outlined in my blog post uh, for configuring Graphite Grafana on Ubuntu Server 18.04. Uh, I'll have a link to that down in the description if you'd like to check that out to see how we configured that. So here we want to go to the virtual environment, which is uh, opt graphite. Yeah, well. type correctly and the file we need is going to be in conf store uh, storage dash schemes dot com now you'll see we added one for collect D down here you want to type in this option collect D pattern equals um, it's, it's just a uh, regex expression to say hey match all this stuff and this is collect D stuff So you'll write and save the file. I'm just going to quit out because I've already done this. To restart it, you're going to do you'll type in bin carpet cache stop and then start again and you can also do status to see that it started out. So once we've done all that and it's probably been enough time that we've actually had our, our metrics starting to pump into carbon we can check that out. I have my website here for Graphite already. Move this over. And refresh. Alright, apparently we don't have... We don't have our metrics in here yet. Alright, so let's see what's going on. Back here. We did 
our configuration correctly. Probably messed something up. Metrics.admin tone down. Well, yep, we got that. Okay, okay. Connect to remote host. Connection refused. So that was our issue. For some reason, uh, Carbon Cache wasn't running. So after we enabled it, we got it running. Now see, we have all our metrics in here. We got CPU. CPU nice. All right. CPU is nice. Memory. Memory free. You can see, it kind of graphs stuff nicely for us, but. Uh, let's go ahead and see how we can add that into Grafana. So here's my sample. Uh, so we will add a new dashboard. Edit, let me hit edit this dashboard. Oh, that's not what I want. So we'll go to add a new dashboard. Put a graph here and we'll click on that and edit. Now we'll select our metric from click D, we'll select our host, cast one. Let's do memory. It is the star. Throw everything in there. Back, you should see, yep, we got our stuff going in here. Settings, we'll change this to the Sandra cluster. And 
see we've got our graphs coming in here. So that's how you get your performance metrics into Graphite and then into Grafana. Really easy and you can make some really cool graphs by messing around with it. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the post. If you did, be sure to uh, subscribe. Uh, I post videos a lot. You can check them out. Also, check out my blog at uh, www.admintome.com where I post uh, articles. And I'll have a link to that also down in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.